it is the charming giraffe and we are going to compare all of the paintings that we've done this week that we sealed we've got a whole table of them um, to see the comparison between all the different types of spray um, sealers so the first ones we'll start with is the first ones we did last Monday or this past Monday with the um, Krylon crystal clear acrylic coating um, the one you saw me spray was this one and you can see that it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not terribly reflective. You can't see me in it or really just even see like the light spot. Like whenever a painting is wet, you can really see like where like the ceiling fan is actually. Um, so it does protect it, but it doesn't give it a whole lot. And this one, you can see it a lot better than on the white one. And here's the last one I did with that one. So really pretty definitely helps protect it but not a whole ton of sheen or shine to it then the second one we did was the um, flat crystal clear by Krylon the color max and that was with these so this is the one you saw me spray so it's protected but it's completely matte finish like you can't see anything when I do this. <laughs> Here, let me go to the next one. Yeah. Um, it does have a little bit of a different texture to it. Um, so you can tell. But protected, but no shine. So if that's what you're going for, then this is the one you want unless you found something different. <laughs> but so far, that's what I've found there. We'll move on down to the next section. All right, so then our next section here, we did with, it's this row, with this uh, Color Max Gloss Crystal Clear. So it's the same as the last one, but gloss instead of um, a flat finish. how these look. So really, really shiny, even on the white one compared to the first set. You can definitely see the difference there, the difference in the, the quality of those. And here, let's move to the pinky orange one. Same thing, you can really tell. And I'll just do this quick comparison. Can definitely see the differences and then finally the blue green purple one really shiny and even on the edges there so that is probably hmm, I've used that on a few paintings um then I found this guy <laughs> And I really like this one. However, I never re really compared them like we're doing today. So I'll just see how much difference it really is. Uh, here's the first one using the Minowax um, Polyacrylic Spray Clear Gloss. And I really like this. We'll compare it against the Color Max uh, Gloss. Not a terrible, this one actually looks shinier, but this is on the white, so let's look at the next color comparison using the uh, orange and pink one. We'll start off with just it. You can definitely see the shine. And then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the Minnow Wax is my favorite. I don't know if there's that much of a difference to justify the price differences. I don't know. I know I really liked it until I started doing this experiment and then I was like, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if it's really my favorite. See, it looks nearly identical on that shine. You guys tell me what you think. If you're seeing the same thing I think I'm seeing here. So this is done with the uh, Color Max Clear Gloss Crystal Clear Finish, and this is done with the Polyacrylic Minowax uh, Clear Gloss Spray. 
What do you think? Can you really tell a difference in the two? Let me know in the comments. And then finally, I had just found this one yes, uh, not yesterday, last weekend. I was at Michael's. I had a coupon code. I couldn't leave without using it, so I bought this one. Winston, Win, sorry, Windsor and Newton Professional Clear Varnish. It's a spray. It's got a lot of instructions. You saw me use this yesterday on yesterday's paintings. Uh, let me move you down real fast. All right. So I did the this one on camera and those and actually all of these six right here is what I used did yesterday um, with this same varnish. So here it is. Really glossy. I only did two coats, but I did have to wait 30 minutes between coats. Um, I would even estimate a little bit longer wouldn't have hurt. Um, and then here's the polyacrylic by Minwax. I definitely think I like this one better. Let's keep looking. And then I'm going to compare a different one. I'll compare this one with the uh, Color Max one. Definitely like it. Let's see. So far, I still think I like this finish better. Let's grab the last one. Really, really glossy, really shiny. That's really what I like. There's a couple paintings where I'm like, no, this doesn't need a shine. But for the most part, I want them, mm, I want them shiny. Now these two, what do you think, guys? Still think I like this one better. So with that being said, since we had a, this is using the Krylon Color Max Clear Gloss. Yeah, I think it's worth this one. I do think this one might be my new favorite, actually. Let me know which one you think is your favorite. Yeah, I'm really digging this. The biggest issue with this one is the, f it's, uh, it's very stinky, <laughs> very stinky. I left them outside. I did the first coat, left it out there for 30 minutes. I did the second coat, left it out there for 30 minutes to dry, maybe even a little bit longer. And then I actually just, once I knew they weren't sticky, I left them outside uncovered just to air out because I didn't want them back in the house, smelling out the house. They were probably outside for at least an hour, probably even two or three before I could bring them back in. Um, so that's the only kind of challenge I, I have with this. If you don't have that issue, if you have a studio or a garage or something else that's well ventilated, that probably won't be a big problem, but I don't. Here are the other three I did just because I really liked it, so I wanted to do a few more while I had the time. And these were the ones from our experiment back in May about the different um, ratios of Floetrol to paint. I really like how all these colors came out, and I love how that gloss makes the colors pop and gives it that shine so that is our experiments from this week using the spray sealer for painting some are varnish some are other things um, but sealers so with that being said i've gotten 18 paintings <laughs> sealed and ready to sell. Well, they're almost ready. They're ready enough to put online. So hopefully by the time you see this video, if not very shortly after you see this video, my Etsy store will have a lot more product in it and there will be a coupon code for 30% off. The discount code will be happy birthday. So go check out my shop. If you see anything here in today's video, all of these will be for sale. Um, if, and if you use that coupon, uh, the discount code, oh, I don't even know what Etsy calls it. Discount code, coupon code, whatever the little box is to get money off. <laughs> use that. Um, happy birthday, all one word, all capital letters to get 30% off anything in the store. Um, and all 18 of these paintings will be online. All, of the, all paintings do come with a certificate of authenticity. I do um, sign the back of the canvas if I can find a place to do that. <laughs> It'll be signed somewhere. Um, so yeah, 
if you are interested in anything and if you're interested in anything you've seen me do over the past six months or more just message me um probably the best way to message me would be on either etsy or on um instagram because i get those notifications on my phone um uh, and I can finish it and send you pictures and get them online for you. I am working very diligently to get as much online this week as I can. So if you saw something that you don't see here today or you don't see in the store, um, but you saw the video and you really want it, let me know. I'll be happy to get that online for you. And as always, if you have any questions about anything that you see here, um, I will post links or descriptions of all of the sealers in the comments with what approximate prices are. Uh, I do think I pretty much went from like the cheaper end to the more expensive end. I believe this is like 14 or $15 a can at Michael's is where I got it. Um, so it, you, that might be why this one's my favorite. <laughs> um, but if you have any questions about anything pour related, sealer related, anything, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you as always. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and do what makes you happy.